How's it going, everyone? Dr. Ben here, your internet doctor dad that cares about you. And oh my God, y'all, I have been living in Durham, North Carolina for almost a month now, four weeks. Uh, in two days, it's gonna be four weeks. But another huge news is that tomorrow is my orientation day. Uh, for the start of residency i just got the email this morning that i'm cleared for orientation and yeah uh things are moving fast things are moving really quickly the past couple of weeks have been literally so so busy and so intense i wanted to vlog one of these weeks but i couldn't do it it was just so much going on i also like my body has been going through so much pain you all have no no idea but my apartment as i've said before the last vlog y'all got to see like my apartment all my boxes in my apartment but my apartment is finally coming together it is absolutely beautiful yes you are getting an apartment tour in this vlog but um yeah let me just update y'all on what's been happening ah oh my god all right so since that last vlog where i had just moved into my apartment um i know i've lived here in durham for four weeks but it honestly just feels like I've been living here for a week because as soon as I came home here, um, I spent three weeks unpacking, three weeks assembling furniture all by myself. I moved the mattress all by myself. I moved all the furniture that I carried in my car all by myself. I went to Atlanta two times over again. So it never felt like this was home. Um, Actually, I feel like Jean-Luc made this place his own before I did because one of the first furnitures, furniture assembly that I did was actually making his thing so he feels comfortable here because I know that he was a little bit scared um, when we first moved in here. But I also made the wild, wild decision to, after driving to and from, from Atlanta three times, to also drive to DC and go spend DC Pride with my friend, which, I got to see my favorite idol of all time, not all time, but currently she's my favorite idol. And she actually helped me get through this most recent breakup that I've had. Her music is just so, so beautiful. And she's a queer person of color uh, who grew up in the Western world. Like a lot of what she sings about resonates with me. And she struggles a lot with the fame that she's gotten, Sabina Sawayama, you've, I've sampled some of her music before in my vlogs, but um, everything that she sings about resonates with me so, so much. And as I have become a physician, as I've gone through my childhood to becoming a physician, I've been struggling with this new proud privilege that I have, and I acknowledge that I have this privilege and every day I wake up feeling so, so guilty, so guilty to be alive, so guilty to be where I'm at. And it's, it's stripping away all the happiness that I should have and proudness I should have in myself. Um, I've also been dealing with a lot of body pain. Um, I had body pain because for three weeks before I moved here, I was hauling furniture and doing all of these things, disassembling furniture. And then for three weeks after moving here, I've been doing the same thing. But this last couple of days, the last two or three days, I have been feeling well rested. I have been feeling um, that energy, the old Ben back. And it feels so good because I haven't, I haven't felt like my old self since before match day, which was three months ago, y'all. Wow, I just realized I started off this vlog with such an intense like <laughs> attitude, but like I've been holding so so much negativity in and I'm tired of it. I'm mad at myself for letting myself get to this point and I just wanna move the F on. And we're gonna do that today, starting today, because orientation is tomorrow. All right, now that I'm done with that spiel, let's actually talk about how much I've decorated at my new apartment. Um, this is an upgrade from my old apartment, which used to be a one bedroom. This is a two bedroom. So I'm getting at least 300 to 400 more square feet. So I had a lot more things to do. I realized that I need to buy more decorations and more furniture as time goes on. But right now I am broke. My credit card is <laughs> being used and I don't want to keep using my credit card anymore until I get my first paycheck. But this, this is the living room, y'all. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. I put up LED rope strip lights up here because I realized um, this apartment, because it's on the ground floor and in the back unit where all these beautiful large forests are, doesn't get a lot of natural sunlight. And finally, this was a picture of me that someone drew 
as Bolin from the Legend of Korra series, um, V, if you're watching this, I don't know if you watch my vlogs, but um, my friend V made that drawing of me as Bolin. And um, I always love it when people make me little trinkets. If you want to make me a little trinket and send it to me, uh, send me a DM on Instagram and I'll give you my address or my PO box or whatever so I can hang it up somewhere. And then I have this cute little rod of Asclepius uh, in a trans flag, the sign of medicine that my friend Amy made for me when I was going through a really hard time two years ago. If you watch my old vlogs, you might have noticed that I have a little bit, a bit, bit of a crafting table near my old office. But what I ended up doing is I sawed down the legs repainted it with a lunar rock color and then refinished the top and made it into a sit down Asian style um, dining table slash coffee table. I think it looks so good. I was originally going to throw this out but I realized that the top is made out of solid wood. That is solid right there. So I did not want to just throw it out because you could always repurpose, refinish this. I can always recolor it, repaint it. Whatever that I see fit, I can. this tabletop will last forever. Another thing y'all will realize as you're going through the living room is that there is a fireplace, but I knew that I wasn't going to use the fireplace at all, really. And on top of the fireplace, there was this little, little sill. So what I did is I did not want to buy a ugly looking cat tree for John Luke that costs way too much. The nicest cat tree for a cat his size was about $200 and it still looked really really ugly so what I decided to do is that I'm going to make this wall his cat tree it's a decorative cat tree so there's going to be another shelf up here that I'm going to install probably in this vlog um I'm going to Home Depot today but what I did is I got these remove uh, like these pasteable scratch pads and put them all over the sill so this is an extended scratch pad for Jean-Luc and then if you come around, y'all, you'll notice that I installed the first the first shelf for him. This is this is the old plant that I had in my old space. And I even put a scratch pad here. So it's starting to look very, very cute. Once it has that third and final ledge up there, he's gonna have a a cat tree, but a fancy version that actually looks good in a living space. So coming in through this hallway, we have my beautiful, beautiful office. It's still a work in progress. Some of the stuff is down here. I'm going to get some storage shelving and put that out. But I got this huge bookshelf. It's taller than me. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even reach the top, y'all. Oh my God. And it was like a hundred pounds. So I had to lift this up after I assembled it and then anchor it to the wall. But with this bookshelf, I knew I wanted it to be, uh, have some good lighting for it. So I got this C-shaped lamp. And I got this dimmable lamp here to kind of just illuminate, illuminate the bookshelf um, to make it look good on my YouTube videos. Cause y'all, whenever you see my instructional videos, y'all see me through this angle. That's that's you, your eyes right there, and you see me from up here. And because I've been shouting out all the things friends have made me and I've put up, this was made by my friend Slo Sloan. This is the big, uh, the most recent gift I've gotten, handmade gift. Uh, from a community member slash friend and uh, Sloan made this to celebrate my Duke psychiatry match and then going down this hallway I'll turn up the light you'll see two of my little bowls that I had gotten previously is my bedroom and yes it is a bit dark in here because it doesn't get a lot of natural light but you'll see you'll, we have some of the same old same old decorations that I had at my old place like the rug the bed but You'll notice up here, because it doesn't get a lot of natural light, I installed a skylight that can be remotely activated with my phone. So we'll just unlock my phone right now. And look at that. This artificial skylight just brightens up my room, makes it look so, so good, and just illuminates all the little decorations and installments that I've made on it. So some new additions that I've added to my bedroom space is one, I made this shelf to hold my jewelry box and my mini fragrances. There's two pictures of me here, but isn't it so, so cute? It's the, it's the same lunar rock color that I spray painted. I spray painted the shelf. And then the other new big addition 
is this beautiful, beautiful hanging shelf. Oh my god. This was a pain to assemble by one person, but I managed to do it. But it holds a rack of clothes, but also shelving for decorations and my collection of fragrances. So, two days ago, I got a new shipment from Figs. If y'all don't know what Figs are, if you're not in the medical field, they are the premier stylish and very, very expensive scrub brand out there. But I ended up having to buy Figs because, one, I don't like looking like a sack of potatoes uh, when I'm at the hospital doing shifts because... Yes, some people are comfortable with that. For me, a huge part of my confidence comes from looking good uh, in my in whatever it is that I'm wearing. And I don't feel good wearing hospital scrubs because I'm generally a short person and hospital scrubs are made for people over seven feet. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Um, so, yes, it is a bit of my own vanity. But if I go into work with confidence, I am in a better mood. I... I'm able to go through my shifts better. Figs are also very, 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 very comfortable. Like exceptionally comfortable. Um, so I ended up buying four pairs of fig scrubs because my old scrubs got kind of old and tattered because I had them for four plus years and I literally wear them every single day. So I have my old maroon scrubs that are still in really, really good condition. Also, they last for a very long time. My other scrub brands, they kind of deteriorated in like a year or two. So my old maroon scrubs that I've had for three plus years still look in top shape. So I decided to just splurge and get myself some new colors from Figs. So we're going to do a little bit of a try on haul, but I'll also show, but I'll also show you all the colors that I got. Anyways, now that the, the, that disclaimer is out of the way, regardless, a bunch of people are going to be uh, ostracizing me and roasting me about buying Figs. Let's uh, go ahead and open this up. I mean, I can't ever satisfy anyone. At this point oh my god i hate their marketing slogans i really do this is such a cringe brand i wish there were other brands that i felt comfortable in but look what it says it says put these on be awesome yeah, cringe all right so these are the colors that i got the first one is navy i think is it yeah leon is their navy color <laughs> Um, so classic navy, uh, it goes with, you know, blacks and stuff, so no issues there. Then, the next color I got is moss. It's like, a uh, sage green, not forest green, a uh, bright forest green, but a muted sage green color. The next color is called charcoal, and it's what you assume, it's, it's just... It's just charcoal. The only fun color I think I got this time was the sage green. I needed to get some classic colors. And lastly, I got traditional black. Because surprise, for some reason, I did not have black scrubs at all the last couple of years. But it's pretty standard to have a pair of black scrubs to wear. So I'm going to go put these on, see how they look like, see how they make me feel, and y'all get a bit of a fashion show. So the first set is black. I mean, nothing too crazy. Uh, it's a pretty standard color. I'll show you all the full view. But y'all can tell on how confident and good fig scrubs make me feel. Like, it is perfect for my body. It eases in to a tucked in look. I always fold up the sleeve just by a little bit, uh, by the cuff. But when I walk around in the hospital looking like this, I'm like, I feel, I feel like Dr. Ben has seen. So classic black, love the look, love how sleek it is. It goes on with like any setting and yeah, can't be, uh, can't be any happier than, uh, rocking this look so up next we have the charcoal gray the one even though it's a basic color uh, as like a charcoal the one cute thing that i do like about it is that this little tie right here it's like in a cerulean blue color so it adds a i don't know if y'all can notice it in the camera but it adds a nice little touch uh to the charcoal gray look one thing that i did notice with this pair of uh, bottoms is that they're a 
bit loose even though the size is small and they kind of feel looser like more baggy so quality control issue but otherwise i i don't know i i like the look it's pretty standard next up is classic navy green y'all know the classic two classic colors for men are usually black and navy if you're spicy you have charcoal as your third classic color but black usually tells me you're a basic guy you like basic clothes you don't like to uh go against uh the grain but navy tells me that you know you have to st stick to corporate casuals corporate colors but you got a little bit of spice in you so i i do love the navy look and i love how i look in this navy i might get more navy pairs to be honest with you all so these navy bottoms feel a lot more like the first pair that i wore the black ones they're a lot more tighter and they're less baggy i mean you can tell they, they give a little bit of flex but not as much so there's definitely a quality control issue with the charcoal ones i'm not too mad about it it doesn't fit like terribly it just doesn't feel as fitted and tailored as the black and navy ones but the next one is the only fun color I got, which is the sage green. I'm very excited to put it on. Hopefully it doesn't have that quality control issue. And um, it's the only fun color I got and I wish I could get more fun colors, but I wanted to get the pink mauve one, but it was sold out. So hoping when I get more money by being a doctor now, um, I can buy more fun colors as I go, but I needed some standard colors to get started for residency. And lastly, what you've all been waiting for. This is the moss green color. I absolutely love it. I love that it's a muted green instead of one of those ugly standard forest green color for uh, general scrubs. They don't really look good on brown skin, but this muted pastel-y pastel green color is excellent. It feels elegant. It makes me look elegant. It complements my skin tone. And also, I really love these neon green accents they've uh, put in to this look. But here it is. Gonna be walking around the hospital in style, baby. From <laughs> Also, these fake scrubs, they need to work on... <laughs> <laughs> they need to work on getting the factory made in a textile factory smell out of these so then I feel more ethically um ethically conscious I'm just kidding but uh they do smell like they came from a factory and no one put an effort into making them smell good like if I buy something from Hollister or J Crew or any of those other brands sometimes when I buy their clothes it's it has a scent that smells good this smells like um it's been sitting in a factory for a couple months before it was shipped out there's a new item at costco recently and it is the rotisserie chicken breast strips so um i might get the munchies in a couple minutes and air fry these rotisserie chicken strips and i have some delicious mustard and hot sauce to eat them with so y'all might get a very first ben Hassin reaction to these rotisserie chicken strips all right y'all late night snack time we are going to try out these rotisserie chicken strips jean-luc is already interested he's like what are you doing dad but um see what i mean but they look kind of extra crispy they're kind of <laughs> they're kind of hard oh my god okay all right we'll see uh how it fares but um i have two sauces here right now for right now i got dijon mustard that i used on a recipe last week so i still have some of that and I got this Tabasco jalapeno sauce. So let's just try the Costco rotisserie chicken by itself. And then we'll try it with some other sauces, okay? All right. Oh, how hot. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So. I definitely air fried it a little bit too much, maybe by like three to four minutes. But the inside is still tender, but the outside is a little dry and some parts are a little burnt. But it's not completely burnt, it's edible, and it's very, very tasty. So this might 
taken place the usual chicken nuggets I usually have for uh, my late night snack, which tends to have a little bit more carbs. This has a lot more less carbs. I wonder if you can hear the crunch. Chicken nuggets, very, very tasty. All right, let's try it with some Dijon mustard. Baby, what's up? What's up, you want some? I'm sorry, you can't. These are seasoned. I already gave him an SNACK earlier today, and it was pureed chicken. Dijon mustard, you wanna smell it? Sometimes I let him smell human food. Well, his ears perked up after he heard that word, the F-O-O-D word. But I let him smell it. So I've done it ever since he was a kid, uh, like an infant kitten, <laughs> so that he doesn't acquire a taste for human human things. Mmm. Pretty good with the mustard. Ooh, I'm just clearing up my sinuses. I never tried this Tabasco jalapeno before. I usually get uh, try the general Tabasco. My one of my ex girlfriends, she really liked this regular Tabasco, um, and she kind of got me into Tabasco a little bit. So I wanted to try out this jalapeno version, the green pepper. This laps. That is so good. It actually has much of the very similar Tabasco flavor. With a little bit of tanginess from the jalapeno. I don't know y'all. They say this is mild. But she's pretty spicy. <laughs> but this goes so much better with the chicken than the Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard was a little weird with the chicken, not gonna lie. Mm, mm, mm. Late night snack went absolutely great. I love that. That's definitely going to be in my regular rotation of late night snacks. It is 11.45 already, y'all. And tomorrow is I have to get up at least by 8, uh, dress in business casual, and head over to Duke campus to sign up for all my health insurance benefits and blah, 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 um, onboarding stuff. So I'm going to get started with, uh, you know, fixing up the kitchen and getting ready for bed. And I'll... See y'all on the other side. There's a lot of content in this one day for this vlog. So I might just keep my vlog till this day and my reaction to orientation tomorrow and that's it. Hello, it's dark. Uh, good morning, everyone. I just came back from orientation and also managed to do a Home Depot and Walmart run while after orientation because it only lasted an hour. Uh, I was pretty efficient. I didn't have to go and get my N95 fit test or whatever because I have a beard. So I just like sign up for something called a papper. I always get a fail because there's no way I'm ever shaving this beard. Um, but I did get some stuff from orientation that I want to share with y'all. And then that'll be it for the vlog. So the first cool thing I got is this little baggie full of stuff that I need for my time in medic, not medical school, oh my god, residency as a practicing physician. But uh, today I got my badge. Ooh, and it says, it has my name on it. It says MD, it's a psychiatry, it says GME resident doctor. Woo. So I'm officially a practicing doctor at the Duke University Health System. Another exciting thing I got today is my personal pager. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> I've literally never seen a pager in my life because I was born... I'm a millennial, millennial Gen Z cusp, so I've never really seen it in action until I rotated at a hospital. And even then, I kind of just let the resident handle the pager. But I got my first official pager. Yes, uh, if you're thinking, why the hecky do doctors still use pagers when they work at the hospital is because pagers are still more reliable. They use a different form of uh, frequency. I think they use radio frequency. I'm not entirely sure, but it is a lot more reliable than an internet connection. And lastly, the next coolest thing I got, unfortunately, I don't get any cool electronics. Some residency programs will get a laptop. Even my old medical school, you get a laptop. Um, if you get into the, any of their residency programs, but Duke doesn't give any of that. Um, but I got my first official long white coat. We're going to put it on, hopefully, um, in this vlog. If I look bad, I'm not going to show y'all, but <laughs> let's go ahead and try this on. 
And here it is, y'all. Dr. Ben Hassin in his long white coat. Uh, this is it. This is the official MD long white coat. My first one. I'll probably never wear it in actual practice. Um, but it is pretty nice. Uh, makes me look super elegant. This is open. I'll probably, even if I were to ever wear this, I'll probably always wear it open. But yeah, this is a, uh, I'm officially a resident physician. Anyways, y'all, that is it for this week's vlog. Um, I know I only really covered one day and usually I go through a week, but I just did so much in one day and I don't ever want my vlogs to go over 40 minutes. I know it has in the past. So we're gonna keep it here. Maybe I'll vlog what I do this weekend and the rest of the next week before I start my first official shift. But um, yeah, that is it. I am so, so happy. I got my pager, I got my long white coat. I finished all my credentialing requirements. My apartment's coming together. I actually got some support brackets from Home Depot um, to finish Jean-Luc's cat tree accent wall. And we're gonna be installing that tonight and cleaning up the inside of my car a little bit. And yeah. Uh, these are exciting times about to start a new chapter in my life I'm feeling so so good um, I'm definitely getting out of that bad headspace I was in and I'm just driven to do really well in my career and find someone eventually that you know supports me in my career and someone I can support in their passions and uh, the future is just bright I know I keep feeling bad for myself which I shouldn't at all because everything happens for a reason and uh you know I feel like I I've talked to my friends but I constantly feel like you know I get the short end of the stick in certain departments when it comes to certain life things but the reason why I'm getting short ends right now is that one day I'll get the long end and uh one day I'll be sharing my home with not just as a single cat dad but maybe with a partner um Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, until next time, this is Dr. Ben.